Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to add hover states to text links inside of your HTML email designs in Figma using the Emailify plugin. So to get started, if you just go to your little resources icon at the top of your Figma file and click on that, and if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up. If you just go ahead and click on the Emailify result, you can run the plugin by clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon over here and saving it to your Figma plugins list for later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, I'm just gonna right click anywhere and go down to plugins. Then I'm gonna go down to saved plugins and click on Emailify. And that's just gonna run the Figma plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically allows you to design HTML emails in Figma and then export them automatically to HTML. So I'm not gonna be going through the design process or the other components in the plugin today. Uh, you can find some really detailed tutorials on the channel if you just check out the Emailify playlist. But for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already got your design ready and you just wanna style those inline links and their hover states. So basically changing color of the links on hover. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that now. So first of all, to add any links to a text layer, you can do that by just selecting your Emailify text layer and highlighting the part of the text that you wanna link. So for example, if I wanted to link this highlighted text here, I can just highlight that and click on this little create link icon in Figma. And that's gonna give me an input to paste a URL or type one in. So I could just type in a URL here. I'll just type in uh, google.com. And you can see here that it basically adds in a link into your Figma layer. Uh, so you can add these links basically wherever you want. Uh, you can add them to different text layers. You can add multiple links per uh, text layer. So if I add a couple in here, so I'm just gonna add another one to Google. So I'm just gonna put in google.com there. And I'm also gonna add one just in the top over here. So if I add another one, there, now we've got two different links in there. And you can see when I preview the HTML in the plugin by clicking on the preview icon, uh, we've got our link up here and we've also got our two links down here. So these are the links in their default state. So to add a hover state to those links, what we can do is we can click on the text layer that we wanna add the hover styles to. And in our plugin, we've got this HTML and mobile settings button. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see down here at the bottom, there's a box called links hover state. And you can see there's an input field down here to paste in a text links hover color. So whatever we put in there is gonna become the hover color when we hover over it in the HTML. So I wanna make this orange. So I'm just gonna click on this uh, layer that I've got up here with a saved color. I'm just gonna copy that hex value to my clipboard. And if I now paste that into this input field here with the text layer selected, I'm just gonna paste that in and add a little hash there. And if I now preview that again, so I'm just gonna preview the email again. And you can see here when we hover over it this time, we've got an orange hover color uh, that's being applied whenever we put our mouse over it. Um, the other thing we can do is also add a slight fade transition. So if you check this fade transition checkbox here in the settings panel, and I'm just gonna check that now and refresh the preview, uh, you'll notice that the hover effect has a slight fade transition on it just to make it a little bit more uh, of an ease transition rather than a hard uh, color cut. So that's totally optional. You can turn that on or off, uh, totally up to you. Uh, the other type of layer that we can apply these to are navigation layers. So with Emailify, you're able to add navigation components, which are basically just a row of link layers. So you can add uh, different links which can have URLs on them. So you can see here, if we open up the settings panel with one of these link layers selected, you can see we've got a clickable link URL uh, property. So we can paste in links into each of those layers and that will make them clickable links uh, in a kind of row navigation style. So if we wanna do the same thing for these type of links, which are different to the Figma links, you'll notice that there's no uh, link on these layers as far as Figma goes. There's no native link there. These ones have a clickable link URL only through the Emailify settings. So just worth noting that. Uh, but if we wanna apply the same kind of hover effect, what we can do is we can click on the navigation layer. So the navigation layer is the parent layer for these link components. And with the navigation layer selected, we've got the same uh, card down here. So we can click on the links hover state input. Again, we can paste that in there. So we can paste in that hex value and put that in there. And if we refresh the preview, you'll see that all of these links now have that hover color. So we've got them all 
changing color at once, even though we only applied it to the one layer. So that's just a really nice way of applying hover styles to the navigation component if you're using that in your email as well. Uh, so that's basically what it looks like. Again, you can use the same fade transition on that one too, and that will allow you to add that fade transition there. And you can see here with the other text layer, because we haven't added any hover styles there, uh, those are basically just default. So that's just gonna uh, click on the link. You can click on it and open it, but it's not gonna include the hover style. Uh, the only small caveat to also understand is that there's this link over here that will link you to a web page with the list of supported email clients. So if you click on that link, it's gonna open up a new page in your browser and it's gonna give you a breakdown of which email clients and which devices are actually gonna support these hover styles. So you'll notice here that there's some clients that will support it. So for example, Apple Mail uh, is totally supported. Gmail on desktop is totally supported. Uh, obviously the mobile devices uh, are not gonna have really any support for it because there's no hover state on mobile, uh, but also on Outlook with Outlook on desktop, you're gonna get basically no support on that uh, as far as Windows goes. You might get some support on that with uh, Mac OS, but as far as Windows goes, you're probably gonna have a pretty rough time getting the uh, hover effects to work. So it's just worth being mindful of. And if you think of it as more of a progressive enhancement rather than something that's uh, being relied on, you basically just wanna include that as a nice to have if the email client does support it, uh, then you'll be able to get that hover effect. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I covered the button hover effects in a different tutorial. So if you're interested in applying similar hover effects on the button components, so these are a different kind of component, uh, you can basically do the same thing. So if you click on a button layer, click on the settings panel, uh, you've got some slightly different hover settings here. So on the button components, you can set things like the background, the text color, and also add uh, animated hover effects. So you can change uh, the transition and that will automatically uh, change what kind of transition is applied on the button components, uh, but those aren't applied to the uh, inline text components as we've just been looking at. So if you're interested in seeing uh, more details about the button components, you can check out the other tutorial. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna leave that there. So uh, if you wanted to know how to add hover states or change the color of your links and inline links on text layers, uh, this is going to be an easy way to do it. And of course, you can export this out to HTML. So if you're happy with the design and the hover effects, all you have to do is click on the export HTML button in the plugin, choose the export format. So you can either choose a vanilla sort of HTML email export, download it to your computer, or if you're using a platform, you can use a platform integration like MailChimp. Uh, for today, I'm just going to do a really quick export to the desktop. So I'm just going to click on export to HTML going to export that and save the zip file to my desktop and open up that zip file, open up the folder. And you can see here that I've got my uh, HTML exported. So if we drop this uh, previous file in here, we'll just drop it into the browser and you can see my hover effects are being applied uh, as you'd expect. So um, that's just a really quick way of exporting it to HTML that you can actually use. And the email itself is just inside this subfolder here. So any emails that you export will be in these subfolders and the previous page is just basically loading in uh, iframes of those subfolders. So the actual email code is just there. So that's basically what it looks like. Okay, cool. So that's basically it for today. Uh, we'll leave it there and I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to uh, enhance some of your emails with uh, hover states for inline links, uh, this is a really easy way to go about it uh, using the Emailify Figma plugin. So feel free to give that a go with uh, you or your team. And thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.